This is a 1963 Hermes 3000 typewriter. I bought this for $15 uh, three years ago, back in 2013, in a thrift store. Um, these are quite desired machines um, in their styling. They were Swiss made. But personally, I find the mechanism is not all that welcoming to a rider. Um, I have had two of these. Well, that's not true. I had three, but uh, one was a bit newer. It was a Hermes 3000S. Uh, I think it stood for special. And in all cases, I thought the mechanism um, was uh, quite stubborn. It was difficult to work with. And that has led to me never using these machines all that much. Although the styling of this is terrific, as you can see, I really um, enjoy big carriage returns, it just makes using a typewriter so much easier. The cover comes off very simply, as you can see, you just pull this back and you can lift it right off and it takes these standard ribbons. And it is shift basket. Uh, basket shift, sorry. The serial number. Now the Platinum Hermes typewriters do tend to wear quite badly over the years because their keyboard, the type slugs are very sharp. Now I've had, like I said, three of these um, and unfortunately this is the only one that I came across that didn't wasn't full of cracks although it is very hard and as you can see it is starting to wear now it does have a few interesting features one of them is for example um, it has an all clear switch for uh, the tab sets this is your margin release it has a stencil black black red and red color selection this is your touch control and the margin indicators are installed in the paper bell in the ruler so in order to make them work you have to pull this lever back as you move the carriage let me demonstrate so it just jump to the center because the carriage is centered so you pull this lever back and as you can see the margin gets set and it's indicated through the ruler it really is a really cool system as it's as you can see it's um, a red ribbon that's threaded through this system into uh, the carriage and this is the way it's indicated so really unusual but really cool too here's a look underneath the carriage as you can see it's really good shape no rust or anything like that all the mechanics are in good functioning order, the spring is very strong that's the original uh, drive belt or cord and also still it's very flexible and therefore it will last quite a bit longer and here's the keyboard, I'm, I apologize if I sound a bit congested I have really bad allergies at the moment so <clears throat> it isn't the best but anyway the camera doesn't really pick it up very well, they're minty color, it's very beautiful. And here's a look underneath. As you can see there's a bit of wear to the paint. And somebody scratched a insurance number, I think that's what these are, into the bottom. Here's the case for the machine. Uh, as you can see the lock's missing and the reason for that is because these are fitted into this. Uh, snugly, uh, I don't know if it's done with glue or otherwise, but the locks come out. So I do have the locks though, it just needs to be reinstalled. Here's the other side. So here's spring loaded uh, bail that can hold your paper, and there's a couple clips here that can hold your utensils.
And here's a type sample. Anyways, there it is, the 1963 Hermes 3000. Thank you for watching.